Welcome to my studio. Last time I saw you, we worked on leaves, which can be a problem for many brush painters. The second difficulty that we often encounter is painting the branch. We have our beautiful flower, and then we're not quite sure how to do the branch. Let's discuss a few examples of using a branch in a painting. And the first one would be wisteria. Now, I always use the mountain horse brush, and the best one to use is the medium size. And I like to paint my branches in ink only, but you may like to do yours in burnt sienna or various shades of brown. So we would have our wisteria flowers, say hither and yon, and then the challenge is to get a branch that weaves in and out of our floral composition. Because when you do wisteria, you always do the flowers first. It works out best that way. Okay, so the brush would be held, pointed upward, you would land the brush, and then immediately turn it, and every time you stop, you're going to create a joint stroke. And then you're coming to the flower area and pull back. So that's the first section. And then the next section would be here. And I just have decided to go on up to here. And then making the stroke smaller. And maybe becoming tendrils. Like so. Okay. Now. You can also have sections that come off of the main branch, like so. And then we could have, say, our leaves would be here, or wherever. The leaves are hard to do with the mountain horse brush because it's not full enough. But just to give you an example. All right, so that would be painting a branch for wisteria leaves. Remember, you press down on the brush and then you do a movement in place, a turning, and then venture forth. And every time you ease up on the tip, the branch will get smaller as it should and smaller. Okay, can you see that? Now, it's good to have this flying white. You don't want your branch to be totally solid. For example, if it looks like that, it's not quite as pleasing as a rougher looking branch would be. All right, now if you're painting something such as plum or cherry blossoms, I suggest you only go so far and then you start painting your blossoms, and then you continue on like so. Maybe do some more blossoms here, and then the branch could narrow off like that. 